Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. All right, so we've got some news for our Cowboys. Um, I guess you could say it's free agent signings. Um, we've uh, done what the Cowboys typically do in free agency, and that is signing our own. Um, we have actually Cedric Wilson and Antoine Woods have been given the original uh, round tenders of $2.13 million. So those two guys will be back on one-year deals. Now, the Dallas Cowboys um, are realizing that more than likely they're going to lose Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton is actually getting a lot of play out there from teams. Um, not so much the amount of money, but more so they are looking and saying that you'll have an opportunity to have more playing time. So that may be more important than anything else to Andy Dalton is actually getting on a team where he has a chance to compete. And with Dak Prescott getting his $160 million deal, uh, that's a four-year deal, uh, actually a six-year deal with the two years that are voidable, but that's kind of the new thing with the NFL, is actually adding voidable years so they can tuck away a little bit more of that signing bonus down the road. Um, he really won't have a chance unless Dak Prescott gets injured to really make an impact as far as um, being able to play and compete for a job. So pre be prepared to say goodbye to Andy Dalton. Um, in other news, Malik Collins, um, third-round draft pick of the Cowboys 2016, who played one year for the Raiders, just signed a one-year deal with the Texans for $6 million. So shout-out to Antoine Woods. Get that money, bro. And that's where we are as far as free agency goes for the Dallas Cowboys. Um, the, again, the only moves, Cedric Wilson – and Antoine Woods will be back next year for the Cowboys. Thus far, um, that's it. Period. If you're looking for the Cowboys to have a whole lot of stuff done in free agency on the first day, especially tampering day, it's not. It's not what the Cowboys do. They look for value, veteran minimums, and stopgap measures. So as far as Jerry Jones changing um, well, we haven't gotten that yet. So I hope you guys tune in tonight, nine o'clock Eastern. We'll be here for our live stream as always, uh, doing what we do, which is live stream to you guys. Um, Michael Anthony will be here in the house. We'll be talking about the latest updates of what's going on as far as free agency goes with the Dallas Cowboys and, um, just kind of having a party. I'm Mark Holmes. And as always, I want to thank you. And you are now up to date on the latest with the Cowboys.